Tesla is doing something unique and peculiar to ensure the safety of their cars during shipping. They have started delivering cars with less range for safety reasons, but here is the strange part. Tesla's message to customers about this change is vague and doesn't provide many details. According to a Reddit user named U0001, Tesla sent an email to customers when their cars will, um, was about to be delivered. The email said that due to a new industry policy, the vehicle had to be shipped with a maximum 50% charge. This means that the Model 3 being delivered might have a lower charge than usual when the customer picks it up. To make up for the inconvenience, Tesla offered customers 150 km of free supercharging. This supercharging credit could be redeemed a few days after delivery in the Tesla app. This message from Tesla doesn't explain what the industry standard is or where it applies. However, it seems like this standard is outside the United States because the message uses kilometers instead of miles. The original Reddit poster confirmed this by mentioning that they were receiving a rear wheel drive Model 3 from China. By the way, I will have the link of that uh, Redditor in the description of this video. According to another user on the Tesla Motors Reddit subreddit, this policy is a Chinese standard. In China, vehicle companies uh, are, are required to deliver electric cars with less range to reduce the risk of accidents. Several websites that provide information about shipping batteries from China state that lithium-ion batteries should be shipped at or below 30% standard of state of charge. This information is based on the standards set by the UN Department of Transportation, specifically in section 38.3. Is anyone familiar with that? I was not. It's worth noting that there might be exceptions to this rule, but they have to be approved by the Chinese government. We're just learning about that, and I'm telling you about that. Let me know your thoughts. Have you ever had uh, come across to something like this, friends? Let me know, please, in the comment section below. Tesla is always adding new features to their cars through free over-the-air OTA software updates. And one of the next features to be released will make it easier to keep track of how many miles you have driven since your last tire service. In other words, Tesla also will track your last tire service. Set to be included in the 2023.20 software update, which is still currently undergoing internal testing, is a new feature called tire service mileage that will appear in the controls menu. With this feature, you can see how many miles it's been since your last tire service, according to a copy of the release notes obtained by a not a Tesla app user. If you're wondering why you need this, Tesla explains further that this feature is useful to keep track of when your tires were last rotated, replaced or swapped, making it easier to know and remember when to perform next tire service. Of course, this mileage counter will need to be manually reset each time one of the tire services not above are comple uh, completed, and this can easily be done with the reset button on the settings. However, in the future, I think Tesla will do something like this automatic. The tire service mileage is, of course, not the only mileage tracker available to Tesla owners. Tesla also has the multiple uh, trip counters that can be customized for different users with one popular use being keeping track of how many miles you have driven on your um, winter and summer tires. This new feature could replace the use for, uh, freeing up another trip counter for whatever you want to keep track of. These trip counters can also be made viewable in the quick access menu on the main screen, but it is unclear if this new counter will also be an option for that menu. Given that Tesla only recently released version 2023.12 to their fleet, it will likely still be several weeks until we see 2023.20 deployed to the fleet, putting a potential release in mid-June depending on where any significant bugs are found during testing. From one side, I think this is convenient for Tesla users, Tesla actually owners, to have these uh, trip, different types of different uh, trip counters. But on the other side, are you happy that the car company that sells you your cars is, is having so much data about you? Uh, or is it time to say goodbye to uh, privacy when it comes to driving? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. It will be here to see what you guys think about this. 
2024 Toyota Grand Highlander pricing is shockingly reasonable. All pricing for 2024 Grand Highlander is announced. It is better than expected. Welcome back, everyone. This is again Armin Haryan from TorqueNews.com. If you are here first time, please subscribe to our channel for daily Tesla, Toyota and electric vehicle news. So Toyota just announced pricing for its 2024 Grand Highlander. I will uh, try to break down all 10 different pricing scenarios with the help of our Jeff Tigu, who covers Torque News Toyota. Toyota Grand Highlander has three different trim levels, XLE, Limited and Platinum. Each trim is broken down into three different powertrain options and various front-wheel drive and all-wheel drive setups. The gasoline-only Grand Highlander, yes, a tall person can fit in the third row, is available in XLE, Limited, Platinum, all three trim, and trim levels. This system produces 265 horsepower and 310 pound, uh, pounds of torque. Uh, look for a 2.4 liter turbo four cylinder engine matched with a direct shift, eight speed electronically controlled automatic transmission. A Toyota Highlander 2024 buyers can choose from front wheel drive or dynamic torque control all wheel drive. Now, let me talk about the pricing. The pricing is as follows. XLE four-wheel drive, $43,070. XLE all-wheel drive, $44,670. Limited four-wheel drive, $47,860. Limited all-wheel drive, $49,460. And platinum all-wheel drive, $53,545. The 2024 Grand Highlander Hybrid utilizes a 2.5 liter four-cylinder with electric motor power. Um, this delivers 245 total hybrid horsepower, matched that up with electric on-demand all-wheel drive. The hybrid is offered in XLE and limited grades. XLE hybrid four-wheel drive costs $44,670, not bad. XLE Hybrid All-Wheel Drive is $46,270 and Limited Hybrid All-Wheel Drive is $51,060. Hybrid Max produces the most power and will be popular with potential purchasers, to, uh, purchasers, uh, to say the least. This gives drivers 362 horsepower and 400 pounds of, the, uh, pounds of torque. This may remind you a bit of Toyota Crown as that produces 340 horsepower and 400 uh, pounds of torque with a similar setup. Plan on a 2.4 liter turbo four cylinder engine with electric motor power matched with direct shift six speed automatic transmission. It is only available in full time electronic all wheel drive. Port News Toyota reporter Jeff Teague was able to test drive this one, the limited grade, while in Hawaii earlier this month for um, his Toyota Jeff reviews uh, on you, his YouTube channel. So he says, I found it to be smooth, comfortable and spacious and fun to drive with plenty of technology and cool features. So the 2024 Toyota Grand Highlander Hybrid Max comes on both limited and platinum trims. Limited Hybrid Max all-wheel drive is $54,040. Platinum Hybrid Max all-wheel drive is $58,125. Time for your Grand Highlander comments, friends. Let me know your thoughts. Do you like the Highlander? What are you expecting 2024? Are you leaning more gasoline or hybrid or the Hybrid Max? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. This is Armin Haryan from TorqueNews.com.